This is Omar Miller, and you're watching The Three Point Conversion. I think for us, uh, the mentality has always been next man up. Uh, I think over the course of the year, we, you know, all of our guys have been able to show that. And, you know, the coaches have given us a really good game plan going into each and every game. Uh, so, you know, the mentality is still the same going into the game and trying to win the game. And I think that's what we tried to do tonight. Will? Biz, you uh, got off to a pretty good start in the first quarter, uh, six points, four rebounds. What was working for you early? I, mean, I don't think it's just about what was working for me. I think what was working for the team uh, should be a thing because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's about winning and losing. Uh, we were just doing the right thing. I think the ball was moving. Uh, we were running a little more up and up and down. Uh, we're sharing the ball a little more. Uh, kind of slow down as the game goes on in the second half. And plus, we were running the floor as well, which opened up a lot of things for us. Richard? Uh, Richard Walker, CarolinaSportsHub.com. Uh, Caleb Martin got to start with all the injuries. Uh, he had a big game tonight. Uh, what have you seen from him, and what, what did you uh, notice uh, that made his game so good tonight? I mean, I think uh, Caleb always – work you know when you when you put in the work you should never be concerned about when your number is called because uh you know most of the guys on our team stay ready and uh whenever your number is called you just got to show up and play and i think he showed that tonight and um you know, and then jalen i've done the same in the past few games uh, and, and he continued to do so uh, miles um so for us, the, the mentality has always been the same. Uh, you, we get in the gym, we get better, and we get prepared, no matter what happened on the road. Jacob? Hey, Biz. Uh, on Sunday, Miles kind of mentioned about having LaMelo back and just kind of him providing just a little bit of energy for you guys, even when he's out. I mean, do you, what's it been like having him back around the team? And, and do you kind of get that sense of him kind of lifting spirits and whatnot while on the bench? You know, I think it's always great to have, you know, uh, rather it's Melo back, rather it's uh, uh, Gordon Hayward, you know, guys that I heard just being around the team, supporting other guys, uh, because we, we treat ourselves as family, you know. Um, so whenever the next guy goes down, uh, you got to make sure you're there for the guy that's playing and supporting him. And I think we have done a tremendous job at that. And uh, that's the culture we're trying to build here, and we're going to continue to, to stay on that path. Danny? Biz, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, Biz, Danny Thompson with the three-point conversion. You're, you've been around the NBA playing in different locations with different teams, and you've always said next man up. But have you been in a situation where it's been so many next man up situations like has been going on this season? And that's That's – to be honest, coming into the, this season, we all understood the sacrifice that people had to make. Uh, it's the same thing, same decision that players made uh, going into the bubble. Obviously, you never see players go down this way. And uh, and I think for us, you know, uh, we got to, you know, the, the big emphasis this year uh, from the coaching staff, you know, on the, you know, the, the training staff is to make sure that we take care of our body. But at the same time, you know, this is the NBA. You always got to be prepared. It's a long season, 72 games uh, season. Um, got to take care of your body. Got to work out. All these things slip in the right way. So at the end of the day, you know, next man up, you know, it's always going to be the mentality of others with us or another team. You know, it's the NBA. This is what we sign up for. 